all right y'all welcome back to the vlog so i'm doing a headboard diy and in these clips y'all see me at the walmart buying all the items that i need i will be listing every last one of these items in the description box below but yeah this was a pretty simple project y'all but as y'all see because i know y'all can stay tuned in for the entire little vlog it ain't but 15 minutes it kind of kicked my ass in the, in the beginning i don't know what it's called but i know when i see it i'm gonna know it so just gotta find it Um, that's a mini food, that's not it. I know it gotta be in this section because I see all the other ones. Corner utilities you know. Um, I'm gonna find it, y'all. I'm gonna find it. Alright, y'all, I found it. This is what I need. This is gonna go on the back, so. All right, let's go get the boards. Right, y'all so the first step you're gonna do is take your elmer's glue but y'all know i'm a little thrifty so i went to the dollar tree to get mine it's generic and it did the job headboard still up anyway take that glue and pour it all over your head uh cardboard or whatever type of board you use y'all know i use moving boxes and build it however thick you want now i use two boards and that was good enough for me um but you know to each their own make sure you pre-measure the width and length that way you know how to line your boards up now y'all see that y'all see that i'm lining it up just like that because i already measured how high and wide i wanted my headboard to be put pressure on it and then let it sit overnight you want it to completely dry and completely attach okay oh i forgot to tell y'all that i got my pool noodles from the dollar tree as well please believe me anyway once you get those pool noodles you want to do like patty labelle said she did her nose and cut them jokers in half and don't come for me because she said it herself on the open word for interview for all my 90s and 80s babies y'all know i ain't lying if you don't believe me run it back anyway use your glue gun to attach those to that headboard that y'all built last night out of those cardboard boxes or those moving boxes whichever one you like and then double tap it with that gorilla gun um gorilla glue adhesive spray just to apply extra security it will help you in the end please believe me all right so this fabric was see-through um and like i can see the adhesive and then so i was like oh, i ripped it off and went in my closet and got this this is actually a curtain right but as y'all can see, let me zoom y'all in. You can still see the, it's not see-through like that one was because the first fabric that I actually got from Joann's was see-through and like you can see the pools, the color of the pool spoolie through it. And you can also see where the adhesive was sprayed at. Now this one isn't see-through, this curtain that I went and got, but you can see, see all those spots? You can see where the adhesive is. So I did that amount because I have the technique down packed, but I just think I don't have the right fabric. So that's how far I got tonight. And I said, I'm not gonna waste my time and do the whole headboard, you know, and then this doesn't dry well. So I did that amount, which is like a third. And so I'm gonna stop here 
come back to it in the morning and hopefully in the morning all of these wet spots that you see will have dried and dried clearly if they don't that means i gotta go back to joanne's and get some darker fabric because um not you know so the room tony ended up building her a little four out of the excess boxes because as y'all can see i cut it all right so it's like 10 30 at night but it's still my birthday so i'm gonna get something done so i'm about to go in my room and don't mind y'all know when i do laundry i let things hang dry so i'm about to go in my room and put the base to the bed together so it's only already in here unboxing it i got this queen size bed because as y'all can see i sold my bed from um two on um offer up because the previous bed um, was a whole bed itself this is just a queen size bed frame so i'm going to put that together and then as y'all can see over here i also have these uh, bed risers because i want the bed to sit up high so i have these bed risers that i'm gonna set this queen size bed frame on so tony was a good helper and yeah as y'all can see this is a and I'm not Queen getting four size. But if she says she might get four she helped me a little more. But yeah, so I'm about to at least put the bed frame together and get one of my projects done for my birthday because we had to pause. We had to pause. Okay, no, we had to, as we say in the army, index. We had to index on the project for Where's So I can see if that fabric gonna be dark enough. So that being said, let's build a bit. Okay, y'all, welcome back to the vlog. So, I'm about to get things situated. Day two um, in the playroom or the toy room. Um, as y'all can see, I've taken off all the fabric. I'm about to throw those away. That's the curtain. And then that's the original fabric. And that bag is the fabric that I ended up just getting from Walmart. We're going to make this headboard happen today. It's going to happen today. And I ended up having to get some more... Um, Put y'all on the tripod. I'll be back and put y'all on the tripod. y'all so step one for both the pool noodle and the tuft 
uh, version are both the same. So in this clip, I'm technically moving on to step two. After you let your uh, foundation dry overnight, step two will be to apply cushion. Now, you can go get cushion from Joann's Fabric. You can go get cushion from Michael's, Walmart, um, you know, any type of arts and crafts store or superstore. However, you can also go to those same stores and go to the bedding section and buy yourself some eggshell uh, mattress toppers. And it's most of the time going to be cheaper than the fabric that you're going to find in the arts and crafts section. So I went and bought two of those, made sure I measured it to the um, height and width of my uh, headboard. And then I used my glue gun to make sure it gets attached and, um, placed onto the headboard foundation okay so you can make it as thick as you want to i decided to go in with two layers of that eggshell cushion just because i wanted to ensure that you could really see the creases um in that tough look y'all know how sometimes you'll see a tough look and it's like almost like it's uh just sitting flat almost you know what i'm saying and like the buttons or the diamonds whatever you use are like painted right to it I didn't want that. I really wanted a deep indention. So that's why I doubled it up and used two uh, foams. Okay. So do it to your liking. Do whatever you want when it comes to this cushion. That's just what I did. Okay. Um, and again, I'm using all Gorilla Gun pro uh, products to do all of the uh, adhesive action when it came to my project all right so moving on the next step is to apply what's called batting and batting is basically a fabric that will keep your top layer of fabric in place so my top layer of fabric is like a cow high print it's pretty thick so um this is a step that i just could not afford to skip so i made sure that i placed that batting and I, I think I did like double glue when it came to the batting because I was just like, I did not need my headboard shifting around. You know, I'm grown. I don't know. Maybe some things might happen sometimes. But if they choose to happen, I just, you know, were to happen, I just didn't want my fabric to, to be moving. Like, stay in place. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Where you going? Stay, stay in your lane. Okay, next you want to apply a six inch mark marker horizontally for about six to seven rows. Once you complete that, go back through and apply a diagonal marking, creating a diamond shape. Uh, and this is so that you know where to dig out those holes for your tough tough look okay so remember the deeper the hole, the deeper the tough can be, which means the better tough look or the deeper, more defined, tough look you'll come out with. So as y'all can see, I told y'all already, I stacked my cushion two row, two layers high. I bought two layers of that cushion, right? So I'm using a kitchen knife and then going back through with a screwdriver to make sure I dig a hole on every one of those markings, okay? It's key, it's very important. Then after that, you go in with your fabric and a little note for your fabric. Okay, so I bought about three yards. Now my measurements only called for two, but you want some, you know, you want to give yourself some leeway. So Anybody that's going to do this, I advise you to always buy one extra yard. So I really only needed two, but this is three yards of fabric that I'm applying over my project right here. Okay. So now the next step is going to be for every marker that I dug out, I'm going to use that same screwdriver to make sure that I'm right on top of a hole. Then I'm going to make sure I steady my staple gun and staple that hole. When you're stapling, always remember to like staple at an angle. Do not staple straight down because you got to remember you built, this is a DIY project. You built it on a dang on cardboard or a moving box or something that you got. You know what I'm saying? So you want to staple at an angle. That way your staple is going into that cushion and that batting that you applied previously. Okay. And I advise you to use... Um, a screwdriver just like I'm doing to make sure that you're kind of like pushing the fabric deep down into the hole prior to stapling it. Trust me, it will make your tufts come out looking so um, much more defined than just going straight in and stapling it right away. Okay. Now this fabric was kind of thick, so it was kind of giving me a little fight, uh, a little kickback in the beginning, but I got a little, you know, routine down pack and 
by, I'm going to say, Tough Number Six. I was moving through that thing. Call me Tough Girl Slim. I was I was getting it. You, you can't mess with me. You can't mess with me. My project came out so good. So proud. You can't tell me nothing. All right. So the last step is to go in with the buttons that I bought. So y'all see, I bought like those brass gold buttons. That's all you got to do. Whatever buttons you use, just pop them out there. And this is the finished product, y'all. Now, I do realize that my pillows are a little cricket on my bed i don't know why but as y'all can see it's cute now i'm already at month number two because i'm posting this video late because i've been having technical difficulties with my macbook however this is the finished look i love the print i always dare to be different when it comes to fabrics and guess what i built that hairboard so good i can use it again don't forget to like comment and subscribe see y'all next time on renee's world